Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. In today's video, I'm bringing you a home goods and Tuesday morning shopping haul that features large decorative vessels and blue and white tabletop decor sure to make a great tablescape. So let's get started. All right, I'm so excited to show you guys the things that I found. The first item I found is this blue and white table runner from Tuesday morning. It was absolutely beautiful, had a bold pattern. I was a little bit intimidated by it, but it was the inspiration for all the other things that I purchased um, for the table. The next item I found um, was from Home Goods, and it is this candle holder. It's really pretty. It's got like that branch theme to it, and it has like a hammer texture. So I thought it was really cute and kind of gives a little bit more of a casual vibe. Um, so I thought it might pair well um, with the table runner. All right, so now comes the fun part. I'm just gonna play around a little bit um, with two different play settings. I really just wanna see, you know, how I can incorporate my new blue and white striped table runner in with my existing home decor. So I have a blue and white striped placemat that I purchased from Poshmark. And then I also have a cream uh, placemat that I purchased from Home Goods. And for both of these play settings, I'm gonna use my burlap charger plates that I got from Hobby Lobby these are super versatile all right so next I'm going to add in my dinner plates I'm using two different dinner plates one for each place setting the first one is white and gold and it has some fall foliage detail into it so it's a perfect seasonal plate and then the second one is just a plain white um, ceramic from 10 strawberry street so my next new find that I'm incorporating today are this set of blue and white striped napkins that I also purchased at Tuesday morning now I think these napkins are so pretty and you know it's kind of hard to find like a striped napkin. I find that you can really um, dramatically transform the look of a table by adding in some nice textiles with good patterns on them in nice colors. So you know I love a blue and white chinoiserie look so when I saw the stripes I said this is something I could potentially use if I just want to pair chinoiserie with stripes or to mix it up. But for today I'm just going to work with stripes on stripes just to see what they look like together. All right, so the last item that I found for my tabletop decor is a little bit of a repeat. I found these mini charcuterie boards um, at Hobby Lobby last year, and I did a tablescape with blue and white chinoiserie, and I did four seasonal looks plus a bonus look. The table that I used last year seats um, a maximum of 10 people. And unfortunately they only had six of these mini cheese boards at Hobby Lobby last year. So I only bought six, but this year I was able to get a couple more to complete um, my play setting and I'm super excited about it. All right, let's take a closer look at the place settings. And I have to say, these blue and white striped napkins are definitely a winner. And I love the way they look in actually both of the place settings. Um, I think that because that stripe pattern can be a bit busy, putting it behind the salad plate um, is one way to give just a peekaboo amount of um, pattern and that pop of color without overtaking the look. Now on the other place setting, I'm liking the stripes on stripes. I was a little on the fence about it because I typically don't want too much pattern going on. But I think the fact that you're only seeing a small amount of the napkin and that also you have the charger plate and the dinner plate to kind of separate um, the striped napkin from the striped um, placemat, that it really kind of tones down the patterns and so that they don't really work against each other. Now I would never just put this napkin directly on top of that placemat because I think that would be a little bit too busy. But I definitely think um, that that the striped napkins are a winner. Now when you zoom out and you kind of look at both of the place settings with that blue and white table runner, I would say that I'd rather a solid um, placemat with this table runner. I think the stripe on stripe on stripe is a bit too much. I think maybe just mixing two patterns works. And then also I think that that candle holder is gorgeous and I'm already planning on using it as a centerpiece for an upcoming tablescape. So I think my um, tabletop home decor finds are definitely winners this time around. Leave a comment in the box below and let me know which place setting you like the most. All right, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, this is my living room and I'm always looking for oversized pieces to put on either sides of the fireplace. So let me show you what I just found. 
All right, I am excited to show you the first oversized vessel that I got in my home goods shopping haul. Now this is a large wooden vase. It's made of several smaller pieces that are kind of put together. I really was impressed with the colors. It's really a cream color, but it's got some dark areas of blues and grays. Really gives you uh, beachy vibes, and I thought this was a really unique piece. And of course, I was impressed with the width of it. Now the box that it's in is a three by three. And so I thought, okay, while this piece isn't super tall, it's definitely wide and it's substantial enough to make an impact in this space. So I came up with the concept that maybe I should take those six boxes and decorate them um, with things that are in a um, series. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a series of large pictures and pottery. And so I happened to find this black um, vase at Home Goods as well. I thought this was really pretty. I like the two tones. And to me, it has a little bit more of a transitional style. It doesn't give you that ancient Greek vibe. It kind of gives you more of a modern take on it. And so of course I bought it again in white and I think this is going to be a great addition to um, my living room. Now I am on the hunt for some more to complete my collection of oversized pottery but I think I'm off to a great start. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my new oversized pottery and what you think of my idea of doing a collection of them in my living room. Now I'm Danielle the domestic scientist. If you like today's video be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.